That's right, Denise. Back in July, P Metro Police arrested the man who lived here in this house behind me for battery domestic violence. Now, just three months later, that same man is now accused of stabbing his wife to death before turning that weapon on himself. Uh, this all started around 630 this morning when police responded to a 911 call the home on the 8500 block of Berkeley Hall Street. When they got there, they found two children standing outside, a 16 year old girl and an 11 year old boy. They told officers their parents got into a fight that had turned violent. Police say the couple was barricaded in the back bedroom at the time when the husband did not respond to police. The SWAT team broke in and found the wife already dead from stab wounds. The husband also stabbed himself he was transported to the hospital in critical condition. Domestic violence in and of itself, it becomes an emotional crime. Uh, and as a result of that, when two people are together and, and uh, there's feelings that are involved and emotions and sometimes children, uh, unfortunately, the worst of the worst happens and, and we're seeing that as evident today. Well, so far, police have not confirmed the identity of the couple, but Abe News now found that the house was listed to James and Jody Joyce. I approached a family friend who had stopped by the home earlier this morning, and he told me that the two were the couple involved. I also asked him about what may have led to this incident. He said the two were already divorced and that one should have left the house to avoid this from happening. Again, this information not yet confirmed by Metro. Crime scene investigators were just here a few minutes ago. They just took down the crime scene tape but police are continuing to investigate what led to this case. Back to you. Yellow crime scene tape surrounds the house where police say a woman was stabbed and killed by her husband around 630 Monday morning. We have heard information that there was some marital problems to the extent we have not confirmed at this point. What authorities can't tell us is that the man was arrested earlier this year for battery domestic violence and the victim was his wife. The couple has two children. They were outside the home when police got there and said their parents had a fight that turned violent. Uh, what we do believe at this point is that the children uh, were able to uh, get themselves out of the residence when the argument and ultimately the attack was taking place. In the majority of our cases that come through, there are children involved. Lisa Lynn Chapman is with SaveNess, a local nonprofit that provides shelter and counseling for domestic violence victims. We get 36,000 phone calls plus annually to our domestic violence hotline. The organization houses hundreds of women and often their young children seeking shelter and also counseling to deal with the trauma of violence within the home. They can have aggression issues or they can become very withdrawn. Mm -hmm. They are more likely to get involved with drug and alcohol issues. Chapman says most cases There's fortunately issues. don't end in homicide, but the threat is always there, especially when victims don't seek help. Metro investigators say family, friends and even neighbors can all do their part to help end this cycle of violence. Anybody that sees anything, even if you don't think it's important, sometimes just reaching out uh, may get that person the help that they need. 